I feel like a welcome. Today I'm not sure how to title this or what this. It's like new phase. So some of these are favorites um, that are new <clears throat> that I've recently gotten. Why is it good? That I have recently bought in, <laughs> as well as like maybe some old favorites of mine that I hadn't been using for whatever and I've like restarted using them and been like oh this is great why did I stop using you and then there's just two um products one that I bought and one that was like it was either like an extra given with like a Sephora purchase or from a birch box whatever that I that I've used a couple times okay first even though there's no specific order I'm literally going by what's in front of me this is um, the Milani Prime Perfection Face Primer in Hydrating and Pore Minimizing. So just recently when I was, after I'd bought this, I, don't, I think my Walgreens had been out of the other kinds because I thought this was the only one. But I just recently saw there's a mattifying and pore minimizing one, which is something I'm going to try. I really like this primer, especially when I... Like, just for work, I don't want to use my $30 primer that I love. I'd rather use a $10 primer. And this one is just as good. It goes um, on and soaks into your skin pretty fast, which is nice, especially work mornings. Hurry up and do it. So I've really been liking this primer. I have not. So this is one of the ColourPop pressed powders. Press press eyeshadow this is sidelines I haven't found a home for it yet so it's still in its clear container I am obsessed with this eyeshadow because it is green I don't, even know how to describe it. I don't usually like green eyeshadows it has like an iridescent I don't know if you can iridescent sheen if you will to it and as I'm going to get these I might as well just say that for makeup wipes the elf makeup remover cleansing gloss are great because they're also cheap because I don't know some people are get all sticky about their makeup removal I just want it to remove makeup especially if we're just talking about swatches which is what I was and I wipe it on my pants I swear everyone has their makeup pants you put them on you don't care you're swiping brushes on it you're wiping hands on it at least I hope it, it just is Smashbox X-rated mas X-rated mascara actually really really good again this is one that I use during when I'm getting ready for work um because it's also I travel with it it's compact it's very nice and I'm actually surprised I feel like when I put it on I don't notice too much but then when I look throughout the day I'm like wow my lashes look a lot better than I thought they did so that's thumbs up keeping in for mascara this was something that I just got with my last Sephora order this was a sample that they sent and I should have looked up about this first because it confuses me but I don't mind it so it is dual sun this is the Clinique lash power flutter to full mascara there are two sides to this like there's a wand on this side and I never, never there's a wand on this side I don't know the wands don't look any different so the one thing I'm confused about is I don't know <laughs> I don't know if there's a difference, like we're supposed to use one side and then you're supposed to use the other. I'm so bad, I should have focused on before. If one, you're supposed to do one side and then do that side, all I know is I have done that and I've also just done like one side. And I like it. I don't know the point of it, but I'm not mad at this mascara. Next, this is an oldie, but a goodie, is the, and you will, this is like an oldie. This is technically the first highlighter I ever bought and even though this is in um not powder form why can I think of liquid not powder form liquid this is the Becca shimmering skin perfector and this is an opal I just 
recently, especially, I do like to be mad, but then I also want to be glowy, but I really need to, like, be mad, and it's a struggle, it's a, it's a big struggle, in life. but I like adding just, like, a squirt of this into all of my matte, um, foundations when I'm putting it on, I don't, especially if I'm just not doing anything, like, really great, and I might not wear highlighter, I know, well, actually, I probably would still wear highlighter. But in case I thought about not wearing that later, at least got some shine, some glow, I guess. Next up, another oldie bit of goodie, and I like this one because this, I consider this a dupe. This is the NYX High Definition Blush in Intuition. And I might have talked about this one here before, it depends on when this goes up. I swear this is a dupe for Narzor's orga Orgasm. I don't know what I love this blush because I mean it's pigmented it's very easy I mean on it's pigmented so it's easy to go a little ham hard so just like knock it a little bit not too much great blush very much like not looks like NARS orgasm it might be a little bit more pigmented but it has that same concept where it has like some of the gold flecks in it as well this is a new blush that I just bought in my last Sephora purchase, but I keep picking it up and using it. I'm obsessed. So it's the, this is my first Tarte Amazon and Clay blush because I heard people rave about how good they are. And I agree. So this is in the shade Seduce. I, it's like a, I, call, I consider this like a nude blush. Like it's not too pinched. It's not too pink. It's not too I don't want to say brown, but like nude, I guess. I'm going in twice because I feel like in color. I don't know. It's just like such a, almost I guess like a mauve, like a dusty tone. So I love it for my cheeks. This is the blush I am currently wearing. So the next, this is an, uh, old, an oldie that I used to use all the time and I just started using it again today. So this is the NYX, this is a NYX Baked Shadow. So this is not like actually supposed to be a highlighter, but come on guys. And it is in the shade Ambrosia. It does have like a, it's a pinky, silvery, shiny, I don't know. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So that, that it is what I'm wearing on my cheeks. So if that helps at all. But I look again, that was literally one swipe. This big it feels creamy. It just oh, it almost feels like a moisturizer. Like I'm gonna put a moisturizer on. But I'm I, can you like, get over that? So this is an oldie but a goodie that I feel like they actually like wasn't around for a little while and then they came back. I'm obsessed with this. This is a Smashbox O Plump Intuitive Lip Plumper with Goji Berry C Complex. I don't know what a Goji Berry is, but I know. I was, me and my best friend found this like three years ago. Bought it and I fell in love and then I went through mine in like two months. And then I feel like when I was looking for it, I couldn't find it. So I don't, someone correct me if I'm wrong, if you know this or if you use this. But I love this. It's a clear, well, not a clear. Yeah, it's a clear liquid that you put on. And I, it also is supposed to like custom shade to your lips. So it looks like your lips, but better. I'm telling you right now, it does it. I don't know how it does it. But it does it. And I don't know, my lips, I don't know if it's be the color that makes them look plumper. And then it is like a little tingle. I don't think it's anything too intense. More like that minty feeling. But oh, goodness gracious. So this is just like a, this is kind of new, but not. But I'm obsessed with it just in general. But that also because I could be obsessed with gold. This is the ColourPop Super Shadow Shock and Get Lucky. I don't know if it's just because I love golds on my eyes, but, but this is like, I use this as for my inner corner. I use this as an, I just find myself using this so much. I just, oh, I don't know. 
was just like, I'm happy. That, that it's a gold. It's a gold bar. That's why I think I like it. It's the truest gold eyeshadow color that I could ever think of. I mean, ColourPop eyeshadows and generals are great, but this, I think I just really like this because that's that true gold you're looking for. And just in case you're looking for your true gold, ColourPop, get lucky. So go get you some luck. This is more like every few months I'll have an, oh my God, this is so amazing. I'm so happy I bought this three years ago type of deal. And then I'll forget about it and not use it. And it coincides with chat lips. So this is the Sarah Hap, and this is a 10 year anniversary vanilla bean gift set, which comes with a lip scrub and lip slip. I mean, first of all, isn't, I just like this on my desk because it's cute and because it's awesome. So it comes with one, the, the lip scrub, the vanilla bean lip scrub, which is awesome. So I always say my chap lips come, I'm, I'm like running for this thing because this is my lifesaver until my lips aren't chapped anymore and then I kind of forget about it. But I need to remember it because it's that great. You do the scrub first and then you put it on, massage it around and then you wipe it off with it and then you'll put on the lip slip. And this lip, I don't know what about this lip slip that... It is a little um, sticky, but I don't know when you put it on your lips. This really moisturizes your lips. It's great. So this set, I got this on Amazon for $35 three years ago. That's what I mean. So I'm definitely getting my money's worth on it. It's always good. I mean, this is, I always think of this when my lips are really, really, really bad. This is also great to do before you would be wearing a liquid lipstick for a night out in the town or anywhere. Next. Now, I know I've probably mentioned this already, but I am obsessed with this and I want to get it in all the colors. The Marc Jacobs uh, new uh, eyeliners, but I do not know. Highliner, highliner matte gel eye crayon. Obsessed. This is amazing. Mine's in Deja, Deja Blue. But if all, like, I want to wear this all the time, even when the eye look does not sound like it should be appropriate. It really goes on your waterline amazingly. It stays in it. For just for my fact, not a lot stay on my waterline or even apply to my waterline. This did obsessed. I never wanted to pay $25 for an eyeliner. But it's so good. Another new product in a sense uh, that I just bought and I am obsessed with and I've been using every day is the sugar, 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 sugar. I guess it's fresh, technically. Sugar Lip Treatment Perfecting Wand. So I had previously, and I, I'm obsessed with, was obsessed with it, the sugar, the fresh sugar lip treatment. And I, it was a sample that I got in like a Sephora favorites, and I was obsessed with it. And I kept saying, but it's $24, that's a chapstick. And I'm like, I'm not paying $24 on a chapstick. No, 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 Again, even though I loved it. So I've kept it. I have one container of empties of things like, yeah, I probably want to repurchase. This has been in there. So when I saw this um, on Sephora's website, I was like, um, yeah, it's, I think it's $25, maybe $30 even. And I shouldn't because it's chapstick. But I'm going to. Another old bit of goodie, but lately what I've been using. So when I first started the brow world, I used this. And then I started, I was like, oh, let me check out the brow list. So I checked out the brow list. And then I did that for a long period of time. Oh, I was like, I love this. And then I did the brow definer. I was using the brow definer. Then I was going back between the two. And then, I don't know why recently I decided to, I don't know. I think I was getting annoyed with both the definer and the liner and I started going back to this bad boy which is the NYX eyebrow cake powder and I love it I don't know what I just love the way maybe it's just I like powder more but that is what I did today I just feel like it's faster it's easier and my brows look more natural I'm able to shape them more of the way I want to shape them so it's it's so hard because it this is so old and it's so dirty. You open up, it gives you two powders. And then this is like a glue type thing. I've never used it. All right, I might have tried once or not. Mine's in dark brown slash brown. So if you can see one brown's a little bit lighter, one's a little bit darker. They do have other shades, but I just love So a new, new product that I just got and I'm loving. 
is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. <laughs> didn't say it, so I didn't know. Just... And I think it's the shade I love the most about it. Not this is bombshell. This is a great formula. This color is beautiful. It dries down. I went out. I've eaten with it, and it stays. It stays up there with my ColourPop, with my Kat Von D. So, but this color is just beautiful. This to me is like my perfect just uh, everyday color. Every day. So, an oldie but a goodie, and I, I have this on, you can't tell, I literally, I found this in a purse, like in one of my clutches, and I was like, oh my god! But this color, it is, a, is beautiful, it's the Marinese Matte, Matte Finity Lip Rouge. I love it. This is amazing. The colors in Paris, I don't know, I put, I did put this over something, because I had something on, and then I found this, and I was like, uh, oh, I love it. I don't know why I haven't heard more about this. I should get more. I should. This is just a current life favorite. By life favorite, I mean I don't... I have one other perfume besides this one. And I have this one that I'm going to show you. I have used for 10 plus years. Like, I was buying this when I never... Wouldn't spend any money on anything, like, designer or stuff. When I was buying this as a teenager, saving up because I was obsessed with it. I know a lot of people are. Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I will never be able to say enough for you. Uh, any favorites video, I will always show you because it's a love affair. Next is just an oldie but a goodie one that I actually just repurchased. And it, I, because I'm obsessed with it and because summer's coming around and I need it. This is a beauty balm and this is the Dr. Jollert Beauty Balm. I guess that's, I just said that same time this is in medium deep that's why i was saying i use this in the summertime when i'm tan i get so many compliments on my skin when i use this i swear it has the coverage of a foundation uh it's pricey it is like 40 dollars, so it isn't just a beauty bomb that's why i do think it's worth spending money in the summer putting i put this on like in my makeup and I don't have to wear a foundation. It is great. It has SPF 45. I'm telling you, this is why I just rebought it. I'm obsessed with this. So good. Best beauty bomb ever. Next, this is something that I had recently bought and loved so much. I bought a mini of it so I could travel with it. <laughs> and it's the Tarte Drink of H2O Moisturizer. I'm obsessed with this again. I have I've even bought a travel. This is great. Um, morning. I would not use this at night. This is my moisturizer I put on before makeup or in the just in the morning because it has that very it's not like creamy, it's more of a gel, so it just soaks in your skin so nice, so smooth. Love it. Bought a travel size. We're good to go. It stays on my makeup. My uh vanity because i literally just use it then it's great a dupe for that which i've recently got and love is the l'oreal hydrogenius it's this glass i mean this is beautiful in a sense anyways this is a glass thing from l'oreal this was i believe like 20 dollars, but honestly it's almost the same thing as the h2 and for the purpose of what i use it for is that just like morning moisturizer or before makeup this is just as good and it sits right next to it and it literally just depends on my mood or just honestly what I grab for us or if I've accidentally <laughs> moved one of these to somewhere else. This is Milk Makeup Ubame, Ubame, Ooh, you, you me mascara, you bame me, you bame me. <laughs> I don't know. It's just maybe just this is what I don't understand. So and it's beautiful packaging, but it got dirty because I tried using it. See, what is this? What? I don't. I was skeptical as soon as I saw that, and then I just just didn't work for me. I don't know. I'm gonna give it to one of my cousins probably. I do that when the makeup that I either buy and don't like or samples of it I just put it in a container and one in particular I'm thinking is probably 
like to try it and see because just because I don't really like it or understand it doesn't mean someone else. All right, well, thank you for, if you're still here, for listening, for being a pal. And hopefully you got some some ideas, some things you might want to do. But, okay. Um, what am I, I'm supposed to tell you to like thumbs up. I almost said thumbs up or thumbs down. I mean, honestly, either way you want to do. Subscribe, eat a cookie, bake a potato. Thank you for staying. Maybe you'll see me again. Catch you later. Catch you on the flip side of that quarter. Or the penny.